Amazing Grace speaks of the sweetness found in Christ's grace for his children. So as human, we are lost and blind in sin and need saving. Jesus saving grace is amazing. Praise the Lord. It is simple yet powerful message of forgiveness, redemptions, and mercy that has made Amazing Grace one of the most versatile and enduring harm in the world. So I will take you to Psalm 103, 14. God knows what we are made of. God knows what we are made of. He remember that we are dust. Your failures don't surprise him. God, he accept them. He knows what we made of because he created us. God won't stop loving you when you um, mess up. And this is so such a natural thing of human to do. You know, we always mess up at certain time, certain stage of our life, you know. Um, so it pretty much, it is a message of um, our redemption, God's grace that have been um, extended to us and our mess of times in life. So God doesn't just love you because who you are, okay, or what you've done, but because of who he is, who he is. Um, he loves you and that's it. It's, it's, it is settled and nothing would change his mind. You can't make God love you more. Um, you can't make God love you less either. He loves you just as much on your bad days as he does on um, your good day. So you see, his love is not um, based on your performance or how good you are or how, you know, or how well can you behave, you know? Uh, he loves you. Uh, and his love is not performance-based. You don't gain a plus for one act of goods. It's done and settled. So the Bible has a word for this grace, and it's absolute amazing. God looks at you and says, I choose to love you and you can't make me stop loving you even when even when we are ridiculously bad God won't stop loving you doesn't matter what you've done, how bad it is it truly is amazing grace and you guys um, today I will uh, also giving you um, a relatable my own testimony that relatable to this uh, word that he gave me today which is uh, I have never done this before and God is prompt me to do it today and uh, just a matter of time that he does so um, I'm going to be giving my own testimony on my own life um, and an example of um, His Amazing Grace, put it that way. Um, so, uh, the day is here. I, I will try my best to uh, share this. So, um, in year 2008, okay, um, 
about 14 years ago um, or less look my mess of figures and numbers are not that great so whatever it is okay 2008 I have lost my um, beloved mother to uh, a murder it was a domestic violence crime that um, took her life her then husband my stepdad okay um, took her life by strangulation and it was hell for our family it was really hell for many years um, it was a tragedy and a shock and probably one of the saddest deepest uh, hold in my life put it that way uh, so when I found out that I have lost my mother uh, it felt like I have lost my entire world because me and her was so close you know um, I'm my mother's daughter you know I always stick with her and she was my everything she was my friend she was my um, mother and we go everywhere together, you know, we're just close. She was my heart and honestly losing her have left a great hold in my heart till today. But praise the Lord that um, his, his love have filled and kind of mended that, that gap, if you, you understand what I'm saying. So, um... Yeah, my my world just gone. My um, it shattered in pieces, to be honest. And I had a young family to raise. You know, my son was only two, and um, my husband was great. He he was a uh, he was a rock of our life. He he was good. He just helped pushing us along and being great husband and a blessed kingdom husband that he is and was. So um go back to this. Yes. So uh, well my mother she was so happy to you know she was happy. She was a great grandmother. Um, her life got taken way too short and too soon. She was only 47, right, when she got murdered. Um, so I, I, for a couple of years, I went through a hole um, constantly. I have came to know Christ, however, um, but we will not talk about the whole thank you Holy Spirit it was through him it was through my Holy Spirit that I have got saved and um, have found the strength to move forward I, I don't often would say this but you know when you see somebody and you have they have good heart whole rounded pure heart never judge no one and they just walk simply to serve she was one of those people and I, I i got upset with god i said god why why my mother what have she ever done to anybody to deserve this you know the way she went and one 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 day in my bedroom i sat and really just bring it to the altar to him i was i was i was lost and i was feeling just done with it you know I need answer Lord I need answer to move on I can you know move on if I don't get this answer I throw a tantrum you know I battle with nightmares and sleeplessness I battle with uh, insomnia for uh, since she passed because when she did pass we couldn't grieve because it was a, a crime that couldn't be solved even though there was a confession from my stepdad on what he did, 
but the final um, it was unclosed it was mysterious how she passed it was unclassified so that pissed me off even more sorry but that's why I said to God I need to know Lord I need to know and praise the Lord one night I had a dream um, and in this horrible white water me and her we were in it and my mother we were drowning in this water rush white water we were just drifting down the river this flat flat of river she put she put me up she 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 you know what i'm you understand what i mean um, in 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 this dream i see her push me up to the surface so i can uh breathe and as she drowning so i woke up to this from this dream and the lord said to me your mother was a sacrifice for her children so that they can find salvation so that they can come to him and just like that it all makes sense you know glories to god um, my mother is now in the kingdom and she is well look after i'm finally able to say it's good through god's amazing grace she was safe and that we were too able to move on from that tragedy years ago and um so that's story cut short i'll there was also i i would like to also enclose another story um this is a testimony it's not a story it's actually happened my stepdad got convicted for murder so as he would um and he got sent to jail okay uh, I recall one day uh, my detective the detective came by to our house and um, delivered a letter that he had written in, in jail for us um, to our home he, he came to our home and I have asked how my stepdad was doing you know in jail and um yes detective detective shane told me that um he was not doing well um he constantly you know talked to himself and and and, and he the, the guard in the prison you know he keeps saying that he see my mother around and one odd also odd thing was is this um he keep hearing a music a music in jail and it was amazing grace music you know um but no one else can hear it except him you know um he keep hearing this amazing grace music all by himself as it came from spiritual realm you know it's come from god he he's you see for for a convicted murderer god still extended his grace and was and he did exactly that he's still calling and letting this murderer know i'm still loving you you know this this is freely given i still love you regardless of what things that you have done um you know that amazing grace his grace was still on the table you know for for after for for my stepdad after what he had done to um you know he taken he took his wife's life um god is still merciful and um the grace is free this amazing grace he still yeah he still that is freely given to even a murderer like himself do you know what i mean that 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 is a very powerful testament and i um i came to understand that you know um the warfare is nothing news to me uh 
my life. And I understand one thing. We are not fighting against flesh and blood. We're fighting against principality and um, warfare against them is very real and I've seen that happen in my life. So God is good. He is merciful and this is a testimony that I would like to also um, share with you. Mm. So um, you see, um, we may have gone to God multiple times, okay, ask for forgiveness, time and time, same issue. Uh, maybe you're not sure you deserve his love and grace because of what you did. Um, but you can be sure of this one thing, okay? You don't deserve that forgiveness. No, you don't. But, you know, but God will wholeheartedly and freely given that amazing grace to you because he loves you not because you deserve it he will forgive you not because you're worth it not because you deserve that forgiveness but because he loves you so <laughs> ah thank you lord thank you holy spirit wow i'm feeling it i'm feeling it i'm feeling the power <laughs> Speak through my mouth, Lord. Use my vessel today. So in Colossians two fourteen, okay, says God cancel the debt which listed all the rules we fail to follow. He took away that record with its rule and nails it. To the cross hallelujah Christian life isn't a mistake free life you guy but it can be a gift a guilt free a guilt free God understand your failures that he loves you anyway that God's is amazing grace what a word is so powerful and it's Christmas so uh, <laughs> I thank God that he you know speak to me this morning and encouraging me pushing me you know he's like this is time daughter for you to actually share your testimony I have seen he I see I have seen God done it many of time <laughs> to many people and um, I feel like yeah he's just been an amazing coach and thanking my um, kingdom husband for praying for me this morning as well so um, have a great day and I hope 